point. Here you have another example of a person who likes to get up on a little soap opera box and start talking. The ultimate goal? Sell a book. It's that plain. It's that simple. I dreamed I was human. Well, I've got some bad news for her. It's not a dream. It's reality. And I've seen over the years all these different type of people starting to talk about a world that they would love to live in. They can't cope with the reality of this world, so they put themselves in a virtual reality. The sad part is, is they convince other people who are like-minded that they are right, that this is all an illusion that we're creating. We all have free will. We can do whatever we want. And if we don't get it right this time, you get another chance, and another chance, and another chance, and another chance, and another chance. Now, she says that she was an ordained minister and an ordained spiritual psychologist. Well, I'll tell you something. I doubt if it was from any credible institution, probably an internet, uh, you know, internet uh, university or internet degree. You can get them. Remember ExoNation when I actually got my two dogs or three dogs degrees online while we did a show? I'll tell you, if this is reality and if the people have to come here and go through this this maze of confusion that they like to build around their story so that no matter which way they try to move or you try to move them, they remain in that, well, you know what, this is an illusion. This is free will. Well, let me ask you this, ExoNation. If this was an illusion that she created... And she said that we create our own realities. Why did she create me in order to challenge her on what she was trying to sell? Doesn't make sense to me. The entire concept did not make sense to me. There are so many different aspects out there. People trying to understand what life is really all about. People with goals. People with dreams. And then you've got these snake oil salesmen who try to sell them a bunch of bunk. You know, it's nice for these people to to put a lot of time and energy into their books and working with publicists and working with printers and so on and so forth. And, they, and the list goes on and on and on. If she wants to help people, I think she needs a reality check. Because she just made no sense. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. However, Craig and I and the rest of the crew here give her a minus six. And we usually... Craig, how many times have we gone below six, uh, below zero on, on a rating? So my producer is saying that as of later on tonight, she is going to be a coveted member of the Exxon Order of Woo-Woos, and she will have the distinction of having DNR after her name on that site at www.exxonorderofwoo-woos.com. And DNR stands for Do Not Rebook. Plain, simple, I don't buy it. The fact that she took the easy way out and backed out of the interview, just proves to me beyond a shadow of a doubt that we caught her. And XO Nation, be wary. I'll be back on the other side of the news at six and a half minutes past the hour as the XO continues right here from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. My name is Rob McConnell. And I'll be back. I'll be back. In this reality. <laughs> 